Stop coloring. I'm not coloring. I'm preparing for an exciting lesson on human genome sequencing. Well, forget that. <laughs> Daria Garraway from the show Timeline is coming to interview you, the world's youngest high school teacher. And she's going to do it in this room. So maybe put something sciency on the board. She wants to interview me? That's cool? No, it's not cool. It's terrifying. You better not make me or this school look bad. No, don't worry. I'll only tell her the good stuff. And once those 20 seconds are up, I'll just vamp. Perfect. And to make sure it goes well, I got rid of the three biggest troublemakers in your class, Derby, Slab, and Echo. Why just them? What about my other students? They never do anything. They never even speak. I don't know how you grade them. Wait a second. What do you mean you got rid of them? What did you do? Relax. Nothing bad. What happened? I don't know. I guess we fell asleep in the hallway, because clearly we're still at school. I simply knocked them out, put them in a van, and dumped them at a fake version of Finnegan High I had built in a secluded warehouse. <laughs> By the way, if the interviewer asks if I ever do that sort of thing, just fake a coughing fit. <laughs> Thank you for agreeing to be interviewed. Oh, you're very welcome. I'm a big fan. I love that piece you did with the whistleblower who blew the whistle on cheating at the whistleblowing competition. <laughs> well, be sure to watch this week's episode where I uncover a cover-up at the blanket factory. No clever wordplay there, just a heinous murder. <laughs> Adam Young, you're a genius. You could have done anything you wanted with your life. Why become a science teacher? I wanted to get kids excited about science. And how has that worked out? <laughs> science! Are you hiding a comic book in your textbook? No, I wouldn't do that. I'm just openly reading it. Today we're going to learn about the solar system. <clears throat> Sorry. Today, I'm going to teach about the solar system. Some of you will sleep through it. Thank you. <laughs> really? Even when there's an explosion? Right now, we have science class. Nope. It's worked out great. My students have a deep love and respect for science. <laughs> Sorry. I was thinking of a funny story I heard about a blanket factory. OK. What about the administration? How did Principal Tater react to having a kid teach at his school? I'm principal of Finnick, a local high school. And we have some of the worst teachers. One of them's a kid. A kid teacher? That is wild. I told the school board it was a mistake to hire a child as a teacher, and as is usual, would you stop that? Hey, welcome to the party! Why are we having a party? It's Mr. Young's going away party. Well, more like gone away party, since he's already gone. Candy apple? <laughs> Mr. Young, I've been thinking about your place at Finnegan High. Oh? You no longer have one, you're fired. What? I think it's safe to say he couldn't be happier. Something seems weird about this place. Yeah, and have you noticed how the same guy keeps crossing back and forth in front of us? 
It's like some low-budget TV show that can only afford one extra. And my lockers are empty. Who stole all the stuff I stole? Maybe we should go to Mr. Tater's office and ask him what's going on. You mean, instead of going to the classroom we are expected to go to, we try to open this other door no one planned for us to try and open? It's locked. You know who could let us in? Stang! What in Dang's name is going on here? I think what Mr. Young is trying to say is, fake school? Who would even think of that? Okay, let's move on. How do you deal with controlling your students? You're the same size as them, in some cases smaller. Plus, he has those ladylike arms. Is that ever a problem? My key! My salmon! My key card! My space sandwich! You'll all take the test and you'll like it. No, we won't. You won't take it or you won't like it? Yes. <laughs> Whoa! Once. If you show students you're in charge, you command their respect. <laughs> Heinous murder. But it must get weird teaching kids your own age, especially when it comes to girls. You wanted to see me after class? Yes. Well, I'm here. Thank you. You wanted to see me after class? Yes. Well, I'm here. Thank you. I'm gonna go now. <laughs> Adam, do you have a minute? Echo, of course I have a minute. Or an hour. Or an entire lifetime filled with joy and laughter and, yes, tears. But tears of joyful laughter. It's amazing that you're able to clone an animal. Could you do that to a person? No, of course not. Ow! Friday is the six-month anniversary of the first time I got close enough to smell Echo's hair. Well, happy stalk anniversary. Picture this. Oh, no! Who will help me with all this homework? Hi, Adam Young. Your humble servant for the day will help you. Oh, you're the greatest. Thank you. You always get a bucket list now. I don't need one. There's only one thing I want to do before it's too late. Echo, I love... I bet he was going to say s'mores. I mean, who doesn't love s'mores? <laughs> what do you think? Is that a wedding dress? <laughs> no, this is my Lady Guinevere costume. Oh. I just don't think of any of my students that way. <laughs> Although, I certainly wouldn't be surprised if anyone felt that way about me. I also have no relationships with women. can use this opening to get through this door. See? What is this place? 
I've been sent to the principal's office many times, and it is not this nice. <laughs> Got to figure out where we are. <laughs> School wardrobe? This is cute. This is just the kind of thing I'd wear. <gasps> this is just the kind of thing I'd wear. <gasps> this is just the kind of thing I'd wear. Private schools have uniforms, and studies have shown that uniforms help create a more serious learning environment. Have you ever considered adopting them? No need. Oh, though there is one guy here everyone loves, and he always wears a uniform. I wouldn't really call a sweater vest a uniform, <laughs> but it's true. Everyone does love me. <laughs> I mean, dang. You call? <laughs> You cold? Ah! Dang! Yes? <laughs> Next up for bid, our beloved janitor, Dang. Where is he? Hello! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Who will start the bidding? Ten dollars. Twenty! Oh. oh, no, you don't. Thirty. We have thirty. Do I hear forty? Too rich for my blood. <laughs> you broke Santa's sleigh! Sadly, we'll go with the bag! You go! A digital version of you. How are you even here? You say dang. I show up. You say ah. That is the way it works. <laughs> dang. You, you call. call. <laughs> ah! I guess I did. <laughs> And the science teacher get together. <laughs> ah, it's too soon. Let's just put everyone in funny costumes. <laughs> These people are deciding what happens to us. They should worry about themselves. I mean, look at them. They're so unkempt and out of shape. <laughs> Ooh, pizza! <laughs> They've seen us. Get them! Run! Having someone like you as a science teacher must be exciting. Uh, I do like to expose my students to cutting-edge research. You probably do some pretty crazy experiments. Does that ever cause any problems? Just teaching science. Cool, cool science. <laughs> For what? <laughs> nice hamster. <laughs> Remember me? 
Daddy? <laughs> oh, What's that, Newton? We should get a closer look at this twister? Ooh, ooh, ooh! Whoa, whoa, whoa. I uh, whipped up some throat spray to help your voice. You think my voice needs help? <laughs> Did I say help? I meant protection because it's so perfect. How can you tell if this stuff is working? So I figured by creating a potion that adjusts my hormonal balance, I can make myself more courageous in potentially romantic situations. Let's give it a shot. Do you feel any different? Do I feel any different? <gasps> Are you saying I look fat in these pants? Uh, okay, I, I think your hormones may be a little unbalanced. How could you say that to me? I just can't seem to do anything right. I've just got so much going on right now. <laughs> oh, can I have this water? Wait! <laughs> Next time you're thirsty, let me get you a bottle of water. I have one in my bag. <laughs> what? So, let's have the antidote. Antidote? So we're stuck like this? Get him! Where'd he go? <laughs> of course not. Nothing goes wrong when you follow the scientific method and proper safety protocols. What does this do? <laughs> what? The box says shake. It says do not shake. <laughs> it still has shake in it. We should go back. What? Why? Give me your lunch, nerd writers. <laughs> okay. Okay. Forget it. I know you're gonna want to make this story about me, but. Let's make sure we focus on what's really important, the science. And yes, the way I teach it. So, when will this be on? It won't. I'm killing the story. What? Why? You may be a kid, but that doesn't seem to affect anything. This place is boring. It just sounds like your basic run-of-the-mill high school. believe what just happened to us. We were held captive in a fake high school. And our lives were being dictated by a bunch of evil writers. I would have brought back some evidence for you, but those writers are really protective of their lunches. I wonder if we'll ever find out how we ended up in that fake school. 